Hello, I'm John Paul and I'm here at Rumor Brothers today to fit an air suspension compressor to this Range Rover L322. The problem with this car is it's come up on the dash with suspension inactive. We've had a bit of a check around, we're plugged into the diagnostic equipment. The right hand front airbag has got no air in it whatsoever uh, and generally the, the compressor is just struggling to keep up with, uh, with the demands of the air suspension so it's just the compressor has got a little bit weak as they do after time and uh, so it's, it's time to change it. Uh, another thing they've noticed with this Range Rover because it's got low on air on one of the airbags is it, you can feel it sometimes it skids when you're trying to stop it doesn't drive right um, and also when you're trying to accelerate it's spinning one wheel because it's got no air in that airbag it's just no pressure on that wheel onto the floor so it's just it's losing traction very quickly when you get the new compressor kit out of the box this is what it looks like just turn it upside down I've taken the two little retaining clips off the back and that is the compressor itself just a little motor a little tank um, and that keeps up with the air suspension not much of a job to fit to be honest it's just one plug and one pipe I'll show you how that pipe fits in a, in a short while um, this is normally fitted under the spare wheel I'll show you where that is in a second with the spare wheel cover removed you can see ordinarily this is where your spare wheel would sit this has had a gas conversion on this particular vehicle so the, the gas tanks have been taken up where the spare wheel would be but it would normally be a case of removing the spare wheel then you would see where the compressor mounts are you would remove the, the three bolts that it's fitted to unplug the pipe unplug the uh, electric cable and just lift it from out the floor and then it would just be a case of refitting the same plugging it in and plugging the pipe connection back in clear your faults on your dash and that'll be it this one has had the compressor move because obviously the gas tanks here to the right hand aperture just to the uh, to the to the side underneath the um, the fuse box so we'll just going to re um, move our camera and then we'll show you where that is as this compressor isn't fitted in the standard place, it's going to be very difficult to, for us to show you how to disconnect the electrical and the air plugs because it's right underneath the gas tanks. So you won't be able to see it, but this is, the, this is the exact same fitting. It's just what they call a push fit fitting. So the pipe would go in to the union and to release it, because it's fairly tight when it's on, to release it, you, you just push the union forward. Then there's a little sleeve which you push towards the union and then you can pull it off the pipe. And it, it's that simple. So when, you, when you're replacing the new pipe, you just push it in as hard as it will go and then that will automatically lock into place. And on the electrical plug, on the male side of the plug, there's two little plastic lugs. You push them together and then just pull the plug apart. So when you're replacing it, obviously you just plug it in. The two little clicks will go on them lugs and then that's in place. And then you just rebolt the whole thing back onto the floor and that's the job done really all you need to do then is get some diagnostic equipment clear the faults on the dashboard check everything's working okay and then that's it so that's the compressor it's all fitted plugged in the pipes fitted in we've just cable tied it up made it all look a bit neater because obviously this is a, a slightly different fitment to the standard then we've jumped inside we make sure all the doors are shut clear the faults and then you'll hear the compressor start up and then you, you'll feel the car level itself up do what it needs to do That'll get rid of the, um, the suspension warning on the dashboard, and then that's it, ready to go for a road test.